Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw two jellyfish. Yeah, we're going to draw them in love for Valentine's Day. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? E yes. <laughs> Because we're using our markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. This helps make our markers last a lot longer compared to regular printer paper. Okay, let's first start by drawing one jellyfish and we're gonna draw on the right side of our paper so that we have room for the other one. We're gonna draw a big upside down U shape. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna draw the bottom of our jellyfish, or the body. We're gonna draw little bumps like this, coming over to the other side. Yeah, now let's draw the other jellyfish, and we're gonna draw them overlapping. So I'm gonna draw another curve that comes out like this to kind of match the first one. And it's okay if they don't, if they're different. You could even draw this one bigger. You could draw a little taller. You could have it overlap a lot or just a little. Yeah, that looks awesome. Now let's draw the bottom to match what we did for the other jellyfish. Now let's draw them holding hands or tentacles. We're gonna, we're gonna draw one letter U right here. And then we're gonna draw another one like this, right below it, so it's thicker. Now let's draw more tentacles for each jellyfish. I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna draw one. Maybe that comes down, and oh, it could even crawl right here at the end. And then I'm gonna start here at the end and draw a little curve, and then come back around to make this little tentacle thicker. Ooh, it's really Ooh, chunky. It's really... Yeah, <laughs> I, like I like it. Okay, <laughs> let's draw another one. And we can even draw these overlapping if we want, or you don't have to overlap either. And this one I'm not gonna curl, but then I'm gonna come back up like this and connect. And let's just repeat that same step. I'm gonna draw another one. Maybe this one curves back the other way. And one more. This one I'm gonna overlap even more and maybe even curve it up. And I'm going faster just because we're repeating the same steps. Good job. Keep going. Yes. That's awesome. You almost have enough room for another one, but you don't have to add it mm. if you don't want to. It's up to you. You can leave it off. I'm going to good. I'm going to switch over here and I'm going to draw another tentacle for this side. We can add all of them for our friend, this friend. <laughs> now we're going to draw it coming this way. I think this is the fun part too with art. You can always change it. You don't have to do it the same as us. You can just use our drawings as inspiration. This one I'm going to curve whoa, way up like this. And then back down. And yeah, maybe one more. Ooh, this one's going to go behind. So if you want to make this a little easier, you could just leave off the overlapping and draw the tentacles spaced out. You could all even just add maybe three tentacles for each one. That would make it even easier. Our jellyfish are almost done. They're missing something though. Their faces. Yeah, they're cute faces. Let's draw, I'm gonna draw this one first over here. I'm gonna draw a little smile and then I'm gonna draw big eyes. I'm gonna draw big. Oh, those are. Yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah, a little bigger than I was planning, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna draw this one kind of overlapping <laughs> behind and then, I'm gonna add that little highlight we like to add to our cute eyes. And then color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This makes the eyes look shiny. And you could also change the eyes. You could also draw them closed or winking. And, oh, this one, oh, maybe I'm gonna draw kissy lips on this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe these eyes are a little smaller too. Oh, we could add eyelashes. You could oh, also yeah. add a bow. Oh, and we could add bubbles. What else could we add? Um, add eyelashes. Seagrass. Seagrass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could add the background. Know. You could add <laughs> seagrass, other animals. <laughs> oh, I'm going to draw hearts. Yeah, I'm going to draw maybe a heart right here. Oh, and maybe another heart like this, overlapping. 
and hurts over here too. Hello, we did it. We finished drawing our jellyfish, except we still need to color it. Yeah, let's color it. This part will speed up. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hello, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cute little jellyfish and they turned out so perfect. Did you have fun? Yeah. I hope our friends will take time to color their drawings. You guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah. You could even add more details like a background like we were talking about. You could also use different art supplies. We used our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you have the same set and want to use the same colors, the pink we used was 89. Oh, we also used a darker pink 6 for the shading. And then what do we use for the purple? 83 is the main color and 82 is the darker color for shading. Yeah, the darker purple. And then we also use the white color pencil to add the highlights to make it look a little shinier. And we also use the blue color pencil for the bottom of the eyes to add another reflection to make them look really shiny. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing jellyfish for Valentine's Day. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.